A heathen. What? Lovely. How oh, dare you? Don't put on that angry look. I'm just teasing you. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Good morning, what you're doing. Arcadia. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just excited to see you. Good morning. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? <laughs> I've got something for that. I'm sure you do. But you know what? I'd like to make an investment in your business. Things are really going well for Zamora's alchemy shop, and oh. well, you know, I'm day. expanding. By helping me, you're helping the good folk of Whiterun. I figured as much. How could I say no to that? May prosperity bless us both. Indeed. All right, so what have you got for sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. I've got all these damage health potions. I need to get rid of some of these. That should do for now. Let's see that we can get rid of this drain intelligence. All right, thank you. Have a good day. That last one was a discount. Take care of yourself. You too. All right, Omar, let's go. I sell cures for... Let's see what Mr. Bellathor has today. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Oh, you're working? Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Well, you know, I'd like to make an investment in your business. I'll take your money, but I make no promises of a large return on your investment. These are troubled times, after all. Yes, I know. Ah, the sound of clinking coins. Even better, the sound of clinking coins in my hand. <laughs> So what have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. All right, let's finish with these drain intelligence. Yeah, this is all surplus. From the shop, there you go. The last one's on a discount. So all my customer orders are filled. Zaire is taking care of the ones that come by the shop to pick up their orders. Everything is going well, business-wise. All right, thank you. Have a good day. All right, I have no one else to sell potions to right now. Hello, Janessa. Good to see you. Bits and baubles for sale. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. I ain't asking So, let me see. I'm not sure where the nearest city is. Let me see if there's anything while I'm here. Anybody need some help? really pressing you what, what are you Who? please take mother Mara's blessing to wash this unease away who are you what are you on about Mother guides me to those flickering souls who are yet to cast themselves on the fire for tomorrow's utopia. She sees in you potential, potential which can avert calamity. I, her most devoted servant, need you to believe in the goodness of your heart, in love. Hmm, it's interesting that I just did some work for Mara. But you can stop with the incessant rambling and get to the point. 
Forgive her, what? beloved child of Entropy. For all her conviction, she only looks up, blind to those below the clouds which she wishes to ascend. There is a terror, a terror of minds and ideas forming in the West. A congliage of antipathy and repressed That's hatred is nearing its sum. If this horror transpires, then neither the restraints of distance nor time will thwart the canker that will be birthed there. I make this plea to you, special child. Meditate between the opposites and seek resolution in the chaos. I will help whenever I can, but my light is weak. However, even the faintest flame can act as a beacon against the background of deep night. That flame will appear to you in a maze of dark when you most need it. Mara. Well, we meet again. But what is this? There is nothing to decipher. Just take heed of these words. Go west and see. Open those eyes and see that which belies its splendor. Beset by men, gods, kings, and ideas. Keep a clear eye. Keep your head above water when you reach that realm. The tides of want can drown any who venture too far from the shore. Whoa. Oh, my sight is coming back. What should I do then? You are still speaking in riddles. Huh? Sorry. Ugh, my head. What on moon? What spell did you cast on her? Um, I'm not truly a mage. I'm an alchemist. So I know of no such spell. Whatever it was had affected me as well. Hey, that's pretty good rhyme there. Yes. Yes, I saw. You were mumbling to yourself. Almost word for word that of Jayana. Huh. It, forgive me. Our travels have put me in a hastened mood. Your priestess had Mara speaking through her, told me about a place in the West. Didn't know madness could be contracted. Oh, Is this a jest you're both in on? So now you're saying I'm mad. Do I look like I'm jesting? Tell me of this place to the West. No, it looks like you're serious, which worries me a lot more. The closest I can come to answering your visions is that we had just hailed from Evermore, which may be that west you want. If you're dead set on taking voyage there, then a merchant who has a route between that hinterland kingdom and Skyrim should be resting at Markarth. Word of warning, if you care to listen. The Reach isn't a place you want to risk your neck just on the visions of a zealous priestess. Priestess? Hello! Hi. You can't see, can you? What did you mean in that rambling? If only I could tell you. My mind was beholden to something truly divine, so much that I can't recall aught that I uttered. However, I have an image of the reach from that possession. Oh, an incredibly irksome feeling. Maybe you can seek out an answer by following the roads westward. Maybe the same merchant who carried us through that web of valleys can impart the same privilege unto you. Seek him out near Markarth, if you will. All right, Markarth. Thank you. And you there. Oliver, you say your name is? I'm Ezekiel, the priestess. She's blind, isn't she? How did she see me? Blind, not deaf. So don't make that very astute observation aloud, or I'll be dealing with an unhappy priestess. Well, she's standing right here. And I'm as confused as you when it comes to her foresight and sense of self when walking this world. Almost like she doesn't need me here at all. I mean, you're not the first she's approached like this. However, the content of her words have been different when she's done this in the past. So who are you to her? A guardian employed by both her father and the circle of priests from Daggerfall. 
meaning her father is as devout a follower of the faith as she is. Traveling the lands to spread her divine message? I don't mind much. Very honest work, and more than meager pay, to say the least. If you're ever up for another line of work, then priests are employers you'd like to see. All right, well, it's been a pleasure meeting the two of you. See you around. All right. Did you see all that? Did you hear it? Sounds like we've got a, a mission ahead of us. It's really interesting that Mara is choosing me to work through me. I suppose I should feel special. All right. Let's go. All right. Be ready. We've got a whole castle of Forsworn. What was. Come on! Look out. Good shooting. Omar, slow down. Still somebody else out here. Oh, I thought that was I have never seen you fight so viciously. It's good to see it though. That new armor seems to be helping out. It was something that uh what's his name? Bulgroof said you had to turn in the the white god armor. Somebody's up here though. Come on, come on! Oh, okay. Good work. All right, let's see if we can't find out where this book is. Forsworn just took this place over. Got an increase in smithing. Let's take this. Let's go. I'm wondering, is there anybody else in here? I think everybody's dead, though. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. 
your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right, let's see. I think, uh, can't remember who. I think this might be from Moth. No, Calselmo, I'm writing to inform you that I've finished your commission. You can come and pick up your order. All right, Calselmo, this must be the, the stamina enchantment on Omar's sword. And where? What time is it anyway? Nine o'clock in the morning. And she's not here. And it's an ugly day. Oh, here she is. Gorza. Need a new blade? Here's the book you wanted. Books. Don't know why the Imperials like these so much. This should help the boy, though. Malakath willing. Here, let me show you how an orc learns to smith. Mm, I appreciate that. And while I'm here, I'd like to make an investment in your business. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Mm -hmm. All right, you have a good day. Nothing like becoming a business mogul in Skyrim. All right, let's see. We need to go see Calcimo. Is there a way to get to him from here? I think so. Calcimo, is that you? Good to see you. You too. I'm glad that we're friends now. It really, you know, I, I look forward to coming here and, and speaking with you. So, about my order. Are my items ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Thank you. You have a great day. You, sir. What can I do for you, friend? I need to trade some things. Of course. So, I'm going to take your steel sword. And I'm going to give you these stolen things. Here, I'm going to give you this steel sword that does 51 points of stamina damage. Okay, we should be good. Let me know if you need anything. All right. Let's see what else we got on the agenda for today. All right. I think it's time to pray and meditate before we go any further. Xenathar. May my skills increase, my body grow strong, and my enemies fall. I'm a famine. So this this is what the special is of the day, huh? No, these these are too expensive. I thank you though. Alright, let me continue to meditate. Alright, we're gonna put some magicka skill here. We got here under illusion. Oh finally quiet casting. All spells and shouts from any school of magic are silent to others. I'll take that. something new for light armor training 
Light armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when worn. Thank you. I'm telling you, as much as I use my bow, I cannot believe how my archery has not increased in, I want to say weeks, months. I'm going to have to find a trainer. This is ridiculous. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, enchanting. It's going to stay about the same. That's going to be about it then. I'm going to save my points for something else. You've done well. Thank you. All right. We need to go up here to the Temple of Dabella, according to Grandpa's notes. Hamal, Hamel, whatever her name is, is a master enchanter, and I'm gonna need her services. So let's see if we can't get her help. The sisters are communing with Debella. They can't be disturbed. I'm sorry, the Temple of Debella is closed. You can receive your blessing if you wish, but the other sisters are in seclusion. All right. So this is the Bella's temple? A heathen. What? Lovely. How oh, dare you? Oh, don't put on that angry look. I'm just teasing you. Oh. Debella is the divine of beauty. She is a patron deity to artists and bards and those who seek life's simple pleasures. You know the that... temple offers her blessings to pilgrims, an instruction in enjoying all life has to offer. Instruction. And by the way, I do like your sense of humor. Where do I sign up? Well, you are lovely to look at. Oh, thank you. And there's you. so many things I could teach you. Really? But I'm afraid the temple isn't taking in new students. Oh. All right, then. And why exactly is the temple closed? The sisters are communing with Debella. They can't be disturbed. Mm -hmm. You'll have to come back another time. Well, there's no time like the present. I'm going in here anyway. I need to talk to Hump Hamel. I suppose I should turn off this lantern. Oh, it's darker than I thought. I don't even know if I can pick a lock like this. Bella, guide us. I think it's this way. Lead us to your Sybil. I think I have 
have some invisibility potion in my backpack. Yeah. Oh, 208 seconds. Bella, guide us. Stolen statue of Debella. Just so that we uh, can say that we were here. Come on. I'm not sure what. Uh oh. Somebody's coming. don't see me. And just oh. what do you think you're doing? What? Um. I was curious about the temple. Unfortunately for you, we don't allow men into the inner sanctum. Oh, really? You have committed a breach and must pay the penalty. Oh, no. And what is the penalty? Normally, a quick death. What? Luckily for you, there are more pressing matters. We could make an example of you, but perhaps you could be put to better use. What use is that? The ceremony you so rudely interrupted was the exalted protocol of the Debellan Sibyl. I don't expect you to know what that means. <laughs> okay, Suffice good. to say that our Sibyl was recently lost to us. What? Through the protocol, we have seen the home of the next Sybil, to the north in a small village pressed against the stone. If you can travel there and retrieve our young Sybil, your transgression will be forgiven. Oh. All right. So, um... I will undertake the penance. Where is the village? We believe the place in our vision to be Carthwaston. Hmm. Now move quickly. The girl must be brought to the temple as soon as possible. All right, is there anything else in it for me? Have you heard of the blessing of Debella? It can help you with the wooing of women if that's your aim. All right. Or give you strength if you happen to offend one. Oh. Typically, we avoid bestowing it upon men, but for the Sibyl's escort, we could make an exception. Okay. And tell me, just what is a Sybil? The Sybil of Debella spends her entire life in direct communion with the goddess. From the time she's a little girl to the moment she expires, she is a direct connection with the Heavenly Mother. From her reverie, we know the mind of our god. We have had a vision of the next Sybil, living in a village to the north. She must be brought to the temple for her reverie to begin. So, the girl is just taken from her family, just like that? It's considered a great honor for the family. Their daughter will never know hardship, 
and the goddess blesses them with great bounty. Hmm. Why is this all such a secret? We prefer not to announce that the Sybil has died until died. we can introduce the new one. Okay. People like to know that we're connected to the goddess. How, how did she die? Wait a minute, you just said that, you know, she pretty much lives a, a life of luxury and stuff. Y'all sound like you were being neglectful if she's dead. All right, well. Thank you. Until next time. I feel bad about this statue now. Maybe I should just leave it here. I think I might. Well, as far as I can tell, she must have taken the statue from me when I wasn't looking. Omar, the heart of the Bella. 